this. Uh... Doesn't seem like a haunted house to me. I know. Come on. This is kind of. I think this is just gonna be bunk. Yeah, I'm not really quite sure. Yeah, I, I just can't see this as a ghost. I like this place. Hello. Yes, we're the uh, ghost es experts. Oh, thank you so much for coming. Please come in. How long has this been going? On? Hello, my name is J-Dog, and I'm one of the original founders of Ghost Getters. Now, if you're asking what we do here, we go out and we get ghosts, hence the name. Now, now if you ask yourself, J-Dog, why'd you become a ghost getter? Let me tell you. I am 1 128th Cherokee. I am 64 128 German and 22 128th African American. Now, you might be asking yourself, what's that have to do with anything? I understand the spirituality nature of this. I see a glimpse beyond the curtain. I can handle anything that comes at me. When I was 17, I dreamed I got a B plus on a test. I got a B minus. What's that say? I'm open to everything around me. Hello, I'm C.W. McKenzie. I am the co-founder of Ghost Getters. Now you're wondering why we do this? This is to make these people feel less anxiety ridden about what they're about living in these houses. If we don't get the ghost out, we can at least appease it, and that's our job. Now, you're wondering why I would do this kind of job? It's because, well, it's a kind of a gypsy thing, but I am actually the seventh son of a seventh son. And I mean, we uh we watch over ourselves, so. Is that it? Okay. Hello, I'm Wombat. I bring the scientific integrity to our team. I have advanced degrees from prominent international universities in cryptozoology, dracontology, and poetic folklore of multiple European cultures. And that is very important in understanding these kinds of cases because if you don't know where the history of these kind of beliefs are coming from, then you cannot truly bring resolve and a seriousness that is required to keep everyone safe. And that's our job, it's keeping people and dragons safe. Hi, my name is Star. Um, no last name, just Star. Um, some people call me a medium. Some call me an, an empath. Some people call me that crazy girl who sees dead people. But I like to think of myself as a psychologist to the ones who have passed on. I understand what they're feeling. These are people. These are people, not scary animals or something. We need to understand them as beings before we can ask them to do something like leaving their space. So I'm here just to, to, to bring a positive energy to everything and, and make sure we can all get along. How long has this been going on? We don't know. This is actually my brother's house. We haven't heard from him in several weeks. We came over to check it out, and he's missing. We alerted the police, but they haven't been able to find him. Well, luckily, ma'am, we're the ghost getters. You, we spoke on the phone, I yes. believe. My name is J Dog. This over here is my partner, CW. Thank you so much CW. for coming. Hey. We're here to get the problem solved, all right? So, first of all, what can you tell us about the things going on here? There's been a lot, lots of different things uh, happen. There have been noises sometimes uh, when we're not in that room, it comes from the next room. Uh, there's been uh, shadows, uh, Objects moving. moving, I won't even go down into the basement. There's just this feeling of, of dread crushing on my chest every time I go down the stairs, I won't go down there. I get chills every time I go up in that bathroom too, let me tell you. It often, if you go up to the bathroom, um, when, when new people come over to the house, um, the pictures on the walls will change to different walls and the water will often just turn itself on with no one in the room. 
Jeez. Besides the uh, basement and your uh, upstairs bathroom, any other rooms are having any problems? There, there's a, one of the extra bedrooms upstairs. My, it looks like my brother was using it as a storage room. It's just got a lot of boxes and stuff. But every time I go in there, things just move around. Jeez. I walk in sometimes and there's a book or just something on top of a box by the door. I go to the other side of the room and I look out the window and that book or box or whatever is now next to me. On, on, on the box next to me. It's really just kind of creepy. I don't know what's wrong. Man, that just sounds like a type 2 right yeah. there. It sounds like a stage 2 poltergeist. It's a pretty common problem, but I think we can help you guys. Okay. Oh, thank you. Well, me and my partner, we actually did some research on this place. That's okay. a key thing when you're trying to get a ghost. And the first thing we found out is that this place has a history. First okay. tenants who lived here back in 1902, they actually both died. Same night, up in that bathroom. Oh God. Yeah, we actually we found it in the Lincoln Journal Star. Scary stuff, I know. Second thing, the CW found this out through a long list of uh, construction ma uh, manifests. The construction team on this house had a lot of accidental deaths involved. Oh God. Yeah. So this could be this could be one of the biggest cases we've gotten. Okay. And frankly, we're gonna make sure that everything is done. So that you guys have a safe home, all right? Okay. Yeah. You we guys, did. you guys don't have to worry. Anymore. Oh God! Is that the faucet? It started. Holy Go. shit! <laughs> Holy crap! Water rolling in here. Good God! Man, I'm gonna have to go get my stuff. Definitely a stage two poltergeist. Clowns in a bathroom. Mm -hmm. Check it out. Holy crap. And please, stay back for your own protection. Okay. What a freaking nerd. Uh, it was my brother. Apparently. This is some of the stuff that's been thrown around, I take it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, a lot of, there are a lot of CDs nice. in here, and those things tend to get thrown around. We hear, like, thumps when we're in the next room, and then we come in, and then CDs look like they've been thrown against the wall. All we really know about this room is when my brother first moved in there was um like children's wallpaper along the top border so maybe this used to be a child's room i don't really know so yeah wasn't this nutcracker up here yeah i think so wow. you know my brother tore down all the children's wallpaper it was like um i don't know circus animals and he tore that all down when he moved in all right well i gotta be honest with you <laughs> i'm a very spiritual person i can sense when ghosts are around i'm not really getting anything from this room right okay. now What's the EMF showing over there? I haven't picked up anything, but okay. I don't know. And that's not surprising. I mean, it, it's sort of spiked on those on the things that have been thrown around, but I mean, okay. nothing like it's still here or anything. I think tonight we'll probably get a much better sense of this place. Okay. The next place is uh, just downstairs. All right, let's head to the basement then. I'm not going down. spots in the house. Well, that's why we're the ghost getters. All right, so what can you tell me about going on down here? Uh, well, I mean, it, it, it freaks my my uh, wife out so much. Every time we come down here, she, I mean, she can't get any laundry done because there, you know, pipes, uh, well, he'll, we hear noises through the pipes and furnaces that echo throughout the house. Uh, a lot of times we'll just get crazy chills or it's, it's, it's just uncomfortable feeling all the time. That's understandable. I mean, basements usually are kind of a key spot for kind of a paranormal activities like that, so. Ooh, did you get the chill? Right. A little bit, I can feel it. There is definitely a presence, I can feel it. Holy shit! Holy oh. shit! Let's, let's get out of here. All right, I am speaking to the ghost in this room. I'm your bro in here. I'm here to help you. It's okay. How's that thing spiking? Thing spiking Alright. We're here to take care of the problems in this house. We can help. We're gonna need a second team in here. Yeah. Let's go. This chemistry homework is so hard. I'm just not getting it. 
Tell me about it. I just, I have no energy or motivation for this shit. Hey, kids. Are you kids looking for a little extra something to help you get through your homework? Uh, yeah. Want to see some real life everyday chemistry? Yeah. Well, come on down to Heisenberg Meth Emporium and try some meth. Yeah! We have moved out of the RV and into the Super Lab, and now we are franchising and coming to a town near you. Come on down to Plattsmith for the only Heisenberg Meth Emporium in Nebraska or Iowa. Only Heisenberg's meth is guaranteed to be 99.5% pure or higher. Because when you take meth, you don't want any extra toxins or impurities. Wow, this stuff is great. Yeah. Great, kids. Make sure to tell your friends and come on down to Heisenberg Meth Emporium. Side effects of meth include work, you're standing in the middle of the night, you're not going to be able to do it, you're not going to be able to do it, you're not going to be able to do it, you're not going to be able to do it, you're not going to be able to do it, you're not going to be able to do it, you're not going to be able to do it, you're not going to be able to do it, you're not going to be able to do it, you're not going to be able to do it, you're not going to be able to do it, you're not going to be able to do it, you're not going to be able to do it, you're not going to be able to do it, you're not going to be able to do it, you're not going to be able to do it, you're not going to be able to do it, you're not going to be able to do it, you're not going to be able to do it, you're not going to be able to do it, you're not going to be able to do it, you're not going to be able to do it, you're not going to be able to do it, you're not going to be able to do it, you're not going to be able to do it, you're not going to be able to do it, you're not going to be able to do it, you're not going to be able to do it, you're not going to be able to do it, you're not going to be able to do it, you're not going to be able to do it, you're not going to be able to do it, you're not going to be able to do it, you're not going to be able to do it, you're not going to be able to do it, you're not going to be able to do it, you're not going to be able to do it, you're not going to be able to do it, you're not going to be able to do it, um, Liz already went ahead to town. She was too freaked out by that oh, last event. That's so sad. Uh, so we, we got a hotel in town. So we'll stay there the night, and we'll come back early tomorrow morning and, and uh, check on you, bring you some coffee. All right? Well, Sounds like a plan. Hopefully we can get this taken care of. All right. Well, uh, best of luck. Thanks again. I appreciate the extra team, too. That's, that's... Yeah, well, it is always darkest the hour before dawn. Well said. Thank you. I, I will project a positive aura for you guys. Hey, whatever you have to do to get this problem taken care of, thanks. <clears throat> Alright, team, bring it in. It's time to get this ghost. We're gonna get yeah. it. Lights out. Yeah! room now. Alright, you got the EMF ready? Yeah. Okay, yeah. thermal images ready? Here we go. Whoa. That wasn't like that before. These pictures have moved. Yeah. Uh, crap. Okay, all right, this is a good sign. Alright, all right. it's definitely going to be in here then. <laughs> I'm speaking to the poltergeist in this room. If you can hear me, please respond to us in some way. Did he say something? He said, he sounded like a whisper. What, what, could you hear what he said? R respond to us, please. Give us some sign you're in here. And I'm getting a bit of a uh, bit on this thing. All right, there's definitely something in here. We gotta. I don't know about this, man. Okay, here we go. If you can hear us, are you upset that we're in here? Are we making you unhappy? Oh, that, did you hear that? No, that, it's definitely upset. Oh, crap. Okay, all right. Why are you so angry with us? It's just, it sounds like growling. I, I, I just can't. She's it kind of spiked just a little there. Dude, I'm getting really freaked out by this room. Man. Especially the clowns. Yeah, uh, uh, these are freaking creepy as fucking clowns. All right, come on, here we go. If you can hear us, we're just here to help. We don't want to alarm you, we just want to help. Give us some sign that we can help you. Okay, that's a good. Th okay, okay. Holy crap, dude! This freaking is freaking spiking. I think you're making making it angry here. One knock, if we can help you. Two knocks, if we can't. Oh. Well, I okay. Don't even, all right. I, okay. I, I, all right. All right. Um, 
do you want us to leave? Well, I mean, All right. we, we got our obligations to the owner first. We're, taking, we're kicking this poltergeist ass yeah. right now. Boom, bros be done. All right, all right. Listen to me very carefully. You are dead, and we can stop you. There is nothing you can do to us. Ghost getters. Okay, all right. This room's definitely hot, and this is an angry spirit. Okay, we need to get the rest of the team up here. This is going to be prime location one, all right? All Let's right. go. guy lived here. That's just disgusting. What, what, I don't even want to think about what he did with those. And I don't think those CDs were all over the couch either. Is it box attacking me? Oh, I, I think there's spider webs or something. Yeah. Okay, after that initial spike, there's... Oh! 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 oh. Um, um. Okay, I think, I think our best bet, our best bet is going to be to sit down and talk to it. So let, let's see. Okay, that wasn't me moving the doorknob this time. Uh, and this is this is spiking. Okay, okay, we're gonna talk to it. We're gonna talk to the presence that is in this room. My name is Star, and I'm here to just have a conversation with you. And 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 some of the stuff you're doing is kind of scaring me and my friend. Um, and why are you doing those things? You know, I, I'm actually not getting a, a an evil vibe at all. I'm getting more of a of a, of a playful kind of thing. You know, like a, a little kid, like a sadistic little. Like kid. A, yeah, yeah, but charming. Yeah, a little kid. I, and let's see. It's, it's a boy. You don't say. It, um, uh, um, uh, Henry? I'm getting a Henry. Um, Henry. Henry, Henry the Eighth was a little boy, too. It was a boy. Well, he just wants to play. Like, he, he's, he's so involved. See? See? He, he's, not, he's not necessarily trying to scare us. He just wants someone to interact with him. Like, he, he really enjoys us being in here. I mean... At least I think so. Um, okay, okay, Henry. So, okay, we're getting abnormally low spikes around you. This is okay. Not normal. Okay. Okay, Henry. If 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 the answer is yes, wiggle the doorknob. And if it's no, don't wiggle the doorknob. Okay, I'm gonna ask you a question. Okay. Do you like playing games? Oh, okay, okay. Um, let's see. Um, what's your favorite game? Is it is it is it tag? Is it is it uh, hide and go seek? Oh, okay. Um, um, do you like to be the person who's seeking or the person who hides? The person who hides. Yeah, yeah. You know. Did oh, I'm getting something here? Did you ever have a time where you were hiding and no one came to find you? Okay, that's good. No, 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 it's gone. Okay, it's gone. My question's in one. Uh, now it's over here, okay. Now it's over here. Okay, hi, Henry. No, it's, it's completely different signature this time. Oh, okay. Two of them. Okay. Um, but it was Henry's John. Okay, okay. Uh, yeah. let's go. Here's an exclusive first look of the other office coming this spring only on. It's just not working. We're still coming up short. How short? Very short. 
is there some way we can squeeze the numbers on the budget? I, so, isn't there some way we can not report something? Sweetie, you can't squeeze the budget on household income. The money just isn't there. Is there any way we can get more hours at the university? No. They, they said that if they gave me any more hours, they'd have to give me benefits. <laughs> Come on, Mike. Be serious. Sorry, you, you, you're right. What about the other manager jobs you interviewed for? Have you heard anything back yet? Yeah, I heard back on one. That's great. Where? Little place you might know. Dunder Mifflin in Scranton. <sighs> yeah, it turns out that their, uh, their manager's not working out. But we can't move back to Scranton. My parents are here, and their Rocky Mountain 65 health insurance is here. Don't they have health insurance in Scranton? You know my dad. He thinks that his Rocky Mountain 65 health insurance won't cover them in Pennsylvania. And that any new insurance they get there won't cover the prescriptions they already have. You gonna get that? It's David Wallace, former CFO. You should probably get this. Okay, honey. Mr. David Wallace. David Wallace, David Wallace. David Wallace. David Wallace? David Wallace. <sighs> hey Mike, do you have a few minutes? Okay. Okay. So first they said they they heard some knocks in in this bathroom. They said the pictures have moved too. Well, that's not where they were before. Oh, oh, oh. And they're crooked. This oh, it just, it just doesn't, I feel a lot of anger. A lot of anger and frustration. Well, typically when you have a ghost situation, the ghost is caused by an anger of situation and anxiety. So that is perfectly normal in this situation. Let's see. Although usually the ghosts don't have such bad taste in Art. Well, you know, there are people too. Oh, let's see. Can you speak to us, please? Feel free to use my energy or Wombat's energy. D don't use Wombat's energy. Then fine, use my energy. Yara's energy is her idea. So that you can speak to us however you feel comfortable. I just felt a wave going through me. Like, they're, they're angry and I can't tell what they're angry about. I don't know if they know what they're angry about. It's kind of like my grandmother. You know, and... Just passive aggressive ghosts? Yeah. Well, I mean, if you're trapped in that kind of stance for that long, wouldn't you get passive aggressive? Passive aggressive behavior never helps anyone. You need to be straightforward with your thoughts and opinions at all times. Well, tell that to the ghosts. I think we just did. Mm. And I don't think it liked it. Mm. No. It didn't. I'm getting it saying like it. It's saying. Let's see. Let's see. Get out of my space. This is mine. You can't have it. You can't have it. Get out. No. No. I, I don't feel comfortable here anymore. I, I mean, this is not yeah, someone we can talk to. This is not someone we can we can convince of anything. We, we, we should go. Like your grandmother. Yeah. 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 Okay. I think she likes the lungs, too. Do yeah, they know does. each other? Spirit, do you know my grandmother? Water, 
Water is a medium that spirits flow through very well. Holy oh shit! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Okay. Okay. So, um. Um. Get some salt on that, see if that'll slow down the, uh, the activity of I, I don't the paranormal. The, the, I don't want to raise the water bill for the, the owners. So maybe we can try it, try it. Yeah, yeah, it's calm down, it's calm down. It's calm, okay. It's calm down. Okay. Um. I, I really don't feel comfortable in here. Can we move? Like, maybe try somewhere else? Oh my gosh! Oh okay. my gosh! Okay, <laughs> okay. You know, this 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 machine would help more if it was psychic. Well, that's what I'm supposed to do, but I, I'm just not getting There's help. There's a thing. Um, um, um. I, uh, I'm, I'm trying. J-Dog! CW! We got some serious activity in here. I'm trying to talk to it, but but it, it refuses. Well, the last time you talked to it, you pissed it off, didn't you? What's going on? What's going on in here? Yeah, this sink has turned on twice, even after I salted it. And the okay. spirit's refusing to talk. Okay, this place needs a full a full exorcism right now. I need you two out of here. We cannot be in this room right now. Come on, let's go. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. in this room. Okay. There's definitely, there's definitely that cold. I mean, I'm, I'm feeling cold in here. I mean, do you feel it? Crap, man. I just freaking flew off the freaking couch, man. Okay, okay. All right, all right. She said it was a playful spirit, right? So it's trying to play with us. Dude, this thing okay. is really picking up something. Okay. Um, uh, Henry, my name is J Dog. All right, bro. Look, I'm here to help you. If you can give us a sign that you know we 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 can help you here. I mean, come on, man. I need you to be a bro with me on this one. We want to help you. We want. I mean, we we just want to end the games. Actually. Yeah. We 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 want we want to find you. We want you to be at rest. If you can if you can do that. Just give us a sign. Shh. 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 Do you hear that? I, I am. Where? All right, yeah, maybe. Maybe there's another spirit in here. Maybe it's just keeping Henry maybe. quiet. Something's keeping Henry down. Yeah. All right. This is to the other spirit in the room. Okay. We need a sign that you're here. Give us a sign that you're in the room. Whoa. Dude, that's not right. Well, I've never seen something like that before. Man, BMF readings are just freaking spiking on this thing. Man, there's has to, there has to be another spirit inside this room. Okay, okay, to the spirit, the other spirit in this room. Can we help you find peace? Something. I heard something. Okay. Please just let us help you is all we want to do. Can you let us help you? Oh. Okay, okay. Shake the blinds again if you want us to help you. Uh, this is starting to become a lost cause here. Yeah, I think I think I don't think Henry's gonna be able to come out again with this other presence in here. And this play this house is just teeming with freaking EMF readings. Okay, we got multiple spirits in this room. We got something really angry in the bathroom. Okay. Spirits okay, in here. Spirit. Come on, man. I need you to be a bro. Be a brochure guys with us. Yeah. 
just okay if you become and will become next to you let Henry speak with us just want to talk to Henry some more David. I don't think he's gonna let us I don't think that her. okay Jeez. I, th I don't think we can do anything in this room but we got some evidence at least of it yeah Yeah, I think I the think second spirit's as angry as the one in the bathroom. I think we need to get out of here. We, this, this is starting to look bad. I mean, we, we should check the basement, maybe. I don't know, man. Let's let's just go. Yeah, it's... That was a war. Time war. The last great time war. My people fought a race called the Daleks for the sake of all creation, and they lost. They lost. So everyone lost. Okay, guys, we've already had two pretty angry ghosts upstairs. Well, at least one. Two. At least two. <laughs> at least two. Yeah. One of them really angry. Yeah. There, I need your thoughts and opinions like on it. Three, as far as I can tell. Well, I can tell Henry is not angry or dangerous, but he seems like he gets overpowered by the angry one, and and so there's not a lot we can do there. The other one gets in the way. Well, we have visual confirmation of incorporeal movement and a certain amount of strength from these beings, so we do not know how dangerous they are. CW, what do you think? Man, this is this this is starting to be over our heads. And I mean, we we're gonna have to call an expert for us. Okay, well, we've got a lot of we've got a lot of video evidence of it upstairs. Final room we need to go check out. That was the one where it hit us hard when we initially did our tour of the house. I say we all go together. Okay. Okay, all right, yeah, all right. Yeah. Now come on, now guys, what are we? We're the ghost, We're the ghost getters. getters. All right, now ghosts don't get us. We, we get, get the them. Ghosts. Yes. All right. So, ready? Okay. Let's do this. All right, team. We need a lot of focus and intensity from you down here. All right. All right. Uh, it's definitely a colder presence in here. It's got to be 10 degrees colder Sorry. than it was earlier today. Okay, I think this is going to be our prime spot for to really talk to the ghost in here. We're getting some residual in here. Okay. Okay. So you ready for the flashlights? I think so. Okay, All right. let's do this. Go set. CW, set it up. Let's yeah. do okay. it. Okay. Some Star. residual stuff in here, that's for sure. This is your show. You're talking to the ghost. Okay. Is the presence that was with us upstairs down here with us now? Pl have it flash on for yes and nothing for no. Is it here with us? Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Okay, okay, okay. Um. Jeez. Okay. Um. 
Is Henry down here with you? Okay, it's just it's just, just the ghost. Just, just the ghost. That's good because okay. I don't want anything bad to happen to Henry. Okay. 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 Bathroom ghost or bedroom ghost? Okay. <clears throat> Is the ghost who was in the bathroom the same one who was also in the bedroom? Three separate ghosts in one place? Yeah, that's what I thought it was. Okay. Um, well, um, okay. Um, did you all come to be in this building at the same time? No. Okay. You know, this is really hard to get information through this because yes and no is just really, really, really limited. So I'm gonna, I'm just gonna step out here for a minute. I'm going to step out here for a minute. I'm going to ask that the spirit that is with us right now... Star, I don't think you can handle yeah, it. Yeah, no, no. This is a bad it, time to it's, go, Haley. It's, 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 it's okay. I, it's okay. Okay, fine. Okay. I'm going to ask the spirit who is here with us to please enter me and use me and my voice as... as a, as a way to speak with us, okay? So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna let you in, okay? Okay, I can, I can definitely feel something entering me. Okay, wow, really powerful entering me. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, this seems like a bad idea. I totally uh, would... uh, uh, a bad feeling about this, gay dog. <laughs> We want to know why you're still in the house. It's my house! It is no longer your house. You have died. It is time to move on. I built it, it's mine! And now it's time for you to leave. No! I need you to be a bro in this situation. I'm not a bro. Come on. Wamba, you got any suggestions on this one? I don't know, you get a construction worker out of a house, he doesn't want to leave. Yeah, I, I, well, I think Well, maybe he wasn't paid house. for his services. I mean, he, he, if we paid you, could we get you out of I the mean, house? Is there any payment you'll accept and leave? That's not good. Salter, and let's get the hell out of this house. Get out of here. Come on. Get out. All right, all right, all right. Get her out of here. 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 Stop complaining about the coffee. I'm more worried about if they found the ghost. I'm sure they found the ghost. I just want to make sure that they get rid of the ghost. Just hope it's for my brother. Hello? Hello? We're back! J Dog? I brought coffee! CM? Anyone? Star? Their stuff was all laid out very neatly. Okay, you guys, are you upstairs? Kind of weird. Hello? 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 Ghost getters. You guys? Are any of you guys up here? Maybe they're in the basement. Yeah, they're 